This is Tirupur, also known as the knitwear capital of India. And this is Marius, the CSR manager for Continental, a Fairwear Foundation member company. Marius visits Tirupur regularly, and over the years he has built a close relationship with his supplier. Marius has set out on a mission to improve working conditions at the factories where Continental clothes are made. And part of that is ensuring that the workers can make a living off their work that they make a living wage, and so began a groundbreaking project. What it looks like from, from above, we make about um, 8,000 t-shirts a day here. We came to India in 2007. The idea was to produce the perfect t-shirt in terms of minimizing negative impacts on the environment, on the workforce, and on the local economy. This is a, a typical piece of clothing, which is um, a basic t-shirt. High quality organic cotton, climate neutral. At the beginning we started with the basic things, you know, like regulating excessive overtime and health and safety at the workplace. And eventually we got to the point that we've covered most of the pillars and we were left with, with the last one, and the last one was the living wage. A living wage is the minimum amount of money someone needs to meet their basic needs, such as food, housing, utilities, bus fare, medicine, or sending their children to school. Most workers in India don't make a living wage. They struggle to support themselves and their families. The people are without living wage, they are suffering. They are not able to work happily. And also they are making a lot of efforts to work more and more. Because of all these conflicts, uh, people are getting suicide. These kind of impacts are there in the community. To calculate a living wage, you can look for benchmarks and numbers from different organizations. But Marius wanted to hear it from the workers themselves. So, with the help of local NGO SAVE, he asked the workers how much they would need per month. The first thing was to find out the current living conditions. We needed to find out about their purchasing habits, about you know, just their normal daily life. How many people live here? Developing a... Six of them. And how do you manage in such a small place? In the Chinna Wheat Light, then a pair of pretty. You can look at the Chinna room. Okay. Nami and Wheat Kara Angerkanga, Colon the other, the Mamna, Chinna Mamna, Atta, Ungalangan. We started with a very simple question. You know, if you were earning an extra thousand rupees, what would you be spending it on? What would be your priorities? You know, on the reflection seemed very reasonable and very modest in a way. For example, everybody agreed that, you know, in the kitchen they need an electric grinder, but um, nobody said they, they needed a fridge, for example. After all the calculations, we arrived at the living wage benchmark, and that was 466 rupees per eight-hour shift. It was clear that there was a proportion of workforce that were below the, the required 466 rupees benchmark that we set. Marius calculated that if Continental paid 10 pence more per t-shirt produced, all workers could be paid a living wage. The fundamental problem with increasing the price of a product is that it is completely counterintuitive Everybody's talking about reducing costs, you know, and suddenly here you are, you're coming along and you're saying, well, you know, guess what? I volunteer to pay you more. Which is not that easy. When a t-shirt is produced, it has to go from the factory to an agent. Then it needs to be shipped. There's import tax to pay. And more costs by the time the t-shirt reaches a store. And as the t-shirt goes through that supply chain, the original price gets marked up. So that 10 pence ends up being very expensive and so does your t-shirt. So the only solution that I could come up with was to, to freeze this 10 pence. So in other words, the extra 10 pence at the factory gate would still be extra 10 pence on the floor shop. In 2016, Continental set up a new brand called Fairshare. Those who buy Fairshare products pay an extra 10 pence, a fair share premium for each t-shirt. And this money goes directly to the workers. Fair share still covers only a part of the production, 
so not all workers get a living wage yet. But as more customers become willing to pay 10 pence more for their t-shirts, more workers benefit. எக்ஸ்ட்ரா வருதுன்னு நினைக்கும் போது ரொம்ப சந்தோஷம் தான் ஏதோ ஒரு நல்லதுக்கு கொடுக்குறாங்க அது நமக்கு அது ரொம்ப யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் இல்லை அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி தான் அவங்களும் நினச்சி எங்ககிட்ட சொன்னாங்க எங்களுக்கும் ரொம்ப சந்தோஷமாக இருந்தது தேவ ரியலி ஹாப்பி தேவ திஸ் டைம் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் டைம் தேவ ஹியரிங் அபவுட் திஸ் நியூ கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் யூனோ லைக் யூனோ லிவிங் வேஜ் கிவிங் பட் நோ படி இந்த இண்டஸ்ட்ரி நைன்டீன் நைன்டி நைன் பர்சன்ட் நோ படி இந்த இண்டஸ்ட்ரி தேவிங் to verify whether the money were actually getting to the workers the way we said they would and uh, and I was very pleased to see that the headline result of the audit was that the money were getting to the workers through their monthly paycheck in the entirety it's great because those people do such an incredibly good job for us you know and uh, and we've invested a lot of money in the product itself and now we feel that we are really you know also investing in them we're paying paying something back to them for the work that they've done so we're looking at this person he is a tailor so all together he received 525 pound uh, rupees, rupees. Uh, as the living wage premium excellent so all this is very nicely kept just as we set out to do it yeah. it turned out that they were spending money on paying off family debts they were spending money on uh, extra education for their children extra medic medicine it, it was great to discover that we had like positive feedback from the labor saying that you know outside labors also started to hear about this living wage program all the experienced new labors are coming inside so we had like you know 25% of less absentees every day marius believes that the long term relationship with his supplier is one of the main ingredients for success it's a crucial factor in continental's push to improving workers lives what are they going to be loading new equipment machines Yeah. All the machines for the we discussed last oh, week oh, you know. Okay. We talked about this these machines months ago and uh, and I was sort of invited as I am invited in all circumstances, you know, to to be part of the decision making process. Undoubtedly the nature of our relationship with the supplier, the length of the relationship, but also the closeness of the relationship was essential for the success of this project. The way Continental have taken some steps forward to pay the uh, living wage is uh, much appreciated and it has to be continue continued in a sustainable way and also the monitoring also have to be very strong this is just the beginning really i mean th- we still have some way to go so we are looking at extending rolling it further down the supply chain gradually increasing and bringing everyone you know within the the entire supply chain all the way down to bring them up to that level so this is going to take a while i think this is a very good sign that you can actually demonstrate that this is possible that india doesn't have to be some kind of a sweatshop uh, it, that it can actually be uh, a, an exemplar factory that is providing sustainable work for local communities yeah and i hope that others will follow and perhaps even be inspired by the fact that things like that are actually happening and and are real